Hello friends and welcome back to Creators of the Lost Ark. Uh, I'm Ron, these are my helpers Adeline and Penelope, both of which are American Heritage girls and we're going to try to earn them a badge today. So I just finished wrapping up my introduction video and I walk inside and Mandy's sitting in her chair knitting and she goes, hey hon, I think the dishwasher's broken. Great. So the scenario is, is we got this dishwasher. Let's scoot over just a little bit, baby. So we got this dishwasher here. And she put on a load of, of dishes to wash overnight. It came in the next morning. And the inside of the dishwasher is wet, but the dishes are still dirty. And the little dishwashing pod has not been dissolved. So I moved some dishes or pulled the dishes out and, and tried to run it in, in a uh, wash cycle. And once again, the, the pod didn't dissolve and it was wet in there. Now, I think I have an idea of what's going on. Um, I can hear the pump running, but there's no water discharging. And there's really only two reasons for, well, there's three, but really two main reasons for that. Either the intake, there's not getting enough water to the pump, or the discharge, something is plugging the discharge. The third would be is that there's something wrong with the impeller in the pump, but I don't think that's what it is. So I'm gonna show you guys how to, how to diagnose and check it. We may have to pull it out, but fortunately I know the guy that installed it and past Ron was looking out for future Ron when he installed this, so it's pretty easy to pull out. So we're gonna open it up. I've already started the run cycle on it. I know that it's not, it's not pumping, so I'm gonna hit start, let it go into its cycle. So I can hear the pump running, but if I open it up, it's not, it's not spinning. So I think when I, when I mentioned that it's the, uh, it's, it's either the intake or the discharge. One thing I haven't done in a while is clean the filter on this. So down here in the bottom of the dishwasher and almost every one of them has this is a little filter that you can unscrew and pop that guy out. Don't judge us. And that's pretty disgusting. <laughs> so I'm going to go clean this out and we'll be right back with you to see if it works. All right, so I got the filter all cleaned out, um, and I cleaned out the inside of the dishwasher a little bit. I'm about to install it, uh, cycle it off, or cancel the cycle so that it goes in and pumps out, and then restart it and see if we've got good flow and if we get our dishwasher working. If not, I may have to pull it out, so just hang on. All right guys, so I'm back, got the filter in there. It's trying to run through its cycle. Um, I went ahead and pulled the screws out of the sash. Every dishwasher has a little lower sash on it that you can pull off to access the uh, electrical and the plumbing from underneath. I pulled the two screws out of the ends here. Pop this guy out. Got the insulation for sound dampening that's in here. And that's wet. So we got to figure out why, where our water's coming from and what we have to do to repair it. And as you can see, we have a problem. So I'm going to go ahead and disconnect this guy and get him pulled out of there. I can't tell where it's leaking from. I can feel it. But I cannot tell where he's leaking from. So I'm going to get it pulled out of there and get this water cleaned up. And I'll be getting back with you. You gotta look all the way down, Franklin. Huh? You gotta get down on your belly. Why? So you can see. You don't see anything? Why Daddy did that? Why 
My daddy did that. So each one of your dishwashers has a screw, or has two screws that are, let's see. Screwed into the bottom of your countertop. Take these guys out. Oops. And then you've got to get underneath and you've got to let the feet down. pushed up it's nice and easy it is still connected to everything handy little neck light here water line is shut off electrical is now disconnected so now I've got to disconnect all of this and uh, get it pulled out to see where it's exactly leaking from on the pump. And then we will see if we can repair it. We got the dishwasher out in the shop to make it a little easier to uh, diagnose what's wrong with it. I did not have, hang on buddy, I will. I did not have a female to female garden hose, so don't tell Mandy I stole the hot water one off of the, off of the washing machine uh, temporarily. So we're gonna hook this up and then we'll hook up the power. We'll run it through a cycle. I don't care if we get water on the floor out in the shop. It's concrete, it's gonna get, Water and dirt and everything else on it. This guy. Let me turn on the water. And extension cord. Right so I'm connecting this cord, this electrical cord, to this GFI plug that I installed uh, outside of my shop here. Uh -huh. Just for safety reasons. Anytime we're working with water and electricity, it's a good idea to connect the ground fault plug. Let's see if we got power. And yeah, we got power. I've got to go turn the water on and then I'll get to run it through a test cycle and see what's going on with it. As you can see, we have a problem. It's leaking around the discharge on that pump. I can't tell if it's a crack in the in the housing of the dishwasher or if it's just a, uh, the rubber hose that goes from the pump to the, uh, to the bottom of the housing. So I'm gonna investigate further, which means I'm gonna go ahead and kill the power. This is the reason why we connect to the ground fault. But I'm going to uh, turn the water off, disconnect the power, probably flip this guy over, pull that out, and see if I can find any, any reason why that is leaking there. Okay, so the water was blowing out from this, this uh, rubber uh, connector right here. In order to get that out, I've got to pull this pump right here out. So we disconnect this electrical. I already loosened these screws, but there's three stainless steel screws right here in the bottom. I don't want to flip it over to disconnect what's on the inside, but I can rotate this pump just a little bit and pull it down. And when I do, if you want to come right here, honey, let me get that light. Here is our culprit, right? If you guys can see that past those wires, there is our culprit. Hello, home. Right there, that's him. Unfortunately, with there being no clamp right here on the bottom of this, seeing no clamp on the bottom of this, I think this is built as one piece. It's gonna have to take this clamp off. Um, don't particularly care for these style of uh, crimp clamps. I'll re be replacing those with, with hose clamps that I can tighten down. That's where he's blowing water from. That's why the filter being dirty didn't help, but because it couldn't 
uh, couldn't create that negative suction on this pump. It couldn't push out into the back into the dishwasher, and that's why he wasn't blowing new water. But I'm going to get this off. A uh, piece of advice uh, for everyone out there. Whenever you get an appliance, save the manual. I've got a junk drawer out here in the shop that I've got the manuals for everything in. So I'll go find that manual, I'll find that part, and then I'll order it off of Amazon or, or a, a parts house. There may be a parts house locally that will have it. Um, and then when I replace it the next time, I might be wearing a different shirt. Okay, so I got the pump out. I don't have the part uh, out completely yet, but it's not gonna take very much to get that out. I'm going to break this into a different, uh, get the part and then uh, put reinstall that part and reinstall the dishwasher on a different video. Hope you guys have enjoyed it so far. Hope maybe you've learned something, if nothing else, to keep your filter clean. Um, and then uh, we've got some pretty cool videos coming up that uh, building fans, and we got a lot of uh, fun family stuff that's coming up that you guys are going to enjoy. Uh, follow us, like the video, comment. Comment on what you would do for your dishwasher repair. Would you call the, man, this, the repair man? Would you call grandpa? Would you call Unwreck It Ron? Um, and then last of all, guys, thank you all so much for watching.